Okay, this is my attempt to make a super quick and efficient tutorial on how to do this really annoying thing, which is to bake when you get your Sketchfab model to bake it from all these annoying multiple high res textures into one texture. So let's not waste any time. This is the this is one model that is all joined up and all the vertices are joined using the whole M by distance method so it's one solid model next i'm going to add a image texture i'm going to go to new and uh, call it door and i'm going to do 8k which is uh, 8192 i don't know if it matters but whatever I just want a massive resolution for this because we need all the details here. No alpha, new image. And we're going to copy and paste that to all of our sub texture slots. Okay, next we're going to make sure that each one is highlighted. in what with a white outline so they're all highlighted and then we're going to go into well here's the tricky part about this whole thing is we need to create a new un, a new uv channel and then unwrap it this is the only thing that's sometimes tricky to get your head around so it currently has its uv map and we're going to add another one and select it this is where i may be doing a bit of guesswork but let's just select it and then go into edit mode face mode and then unwrap it um let's try this okay i'm going to try that now it's going to be a bit weird because it looks messy um we go back to the original one. Now, this is just the secondary UV map. So now we'll go back to the original UV map and then go to our bake settings in the render menu. And I just remembered that you have to be in cycles mode. Uh, GPU. Render settings, crank them way down low to like eight, because um, you don't—you're not actually rendering a scene. It's just doesn't. That's not needed. Um, maybe even set that to like point one or something. Then we can go into make, and we'll choose diffuse only. We'll get rid of these. Just have color. And go to our UV and make sure that the original one is no, actually, select the new one. Then hit bake. And everything else is fine. Is that done? That's 100%. No, okay, that's done. Now, what I'm going to do is duplicate this just to make life easy and going to delete all these sub textures because we don't need them. Um, make a new texture, door, baked, or whatever. And then we'll select the door that should be now baked onto 8K, put it in. Now it should look horrendous. So what we need to do is hit tab, make sure all of our faces are selected. And actually, I've still got some spares here, so I'm just gonna delete those. Hang on, delete those. So we only want one. We're going to select all faces, make sure that you assign that 
uh, daub baked texture to all of those faces and it will still look scary until you activate the new UV map and delete the old one and just call it UV map and there you have it we have two objects this one has a nice clean 8k texture let's have a look at it in the see how the UVs look that's an important thing as well okay so it looks pretty okay it's upside down but uh, we get a nice complete door here uh, and that's not too bad either so if you needed to edit it it wouldn't be a nightmare some of these parts are and maybe if you were wanting to spend more time in the UV phase you could do that but I think this is pretty good so far uh, so yeah that's about it hope you got something good out of this tutorial cheers sorry there was just one more thing uh, you have to save your texture because it's currently living inside blender so uh, select the texture make sure it's in the UV editing window or probably the texture editing window works as well but I usually go for this where it says image if there's a little asterisk there that means that it is not yet saved so go to file save as right and make sure that you then just double check that it's actually choosing that image and then that's all good to go cool thanks